What is a Camino? It's a walking route or pilgrimage, creating an opportunity for personal reflection. The most famous is the Camino de Santiago. How a Camino works is that people walk on generally approximately 25 kilometers a day. So you wake up at almost five in the morning and you get onto the road, so to speak, and you walk for 25 kilometers. When you get to your destination, you're exhausted. You go to sleep and you wake up the next day and you do it again. We brought the concept to South Africa and we initiated a Camino around the Cape province called the Cape Camino. Since then, we've been asked by the Department of Agriculture to bring this concept down the Berg River in line with agritourism, the Bachrafir Camino. We like that name because there's a Berg River in every country, but there's only one Bachrafir, which is in South Africa up the West Coast. The Bachrafir Camino runs from source to sea, which is from Franschhoek to Feltruf and all the communities along the way. So the Bachrafid Camino is 300 kilometers long. All along the way you walk approximately 25 kilometers. You can walk more, you can walk less. It's entirely up to you and your availability and your skill. You stop along the way. There's campsites, there's small B&Bs, there's larger establishments, there's three star, four star, five star. It's entirely up to you and the range of resources and experiences on offer are very, very broad. So it really is for everybody. It's called universal tourism, which means it attracts a very broad range of tourists, but always a tourist that's introspective, that likes to consider their own internal sacred space, that likes to explore the environment. On this route, we're still to discover, it's still unfolding for us what's coming, but the farmlands themselves are rich with uh, flora and fauna, they're interesting sacred sites. In Franschhoek, there's a labyrinth, there's a Kremat in Pal, and there's all sorts of interesting sacred sites along the route. So we're exploring those, we're uncovering those, and once we have that all laid out, so the route will become open to the public, and then the public will be invited to explore this journey, an internal journey and an external journey. This river system is home to a wealth of wine and table grape farms, protea farms, sheep, honey, and bokums, just to name a few. There are also existing tourist destinations all along the river, providing accommodation and recreation. The, the bird and endemic plant species are unprecedented. It is rich with resources that are of interest to travelers, particularly the mature, responsible traveler. For those who are seeking on foot an exploration of their internal environment while in a magnificent natural and agricultural setting. Security is the main concern for walkers and landowners, and we need to explore effective ways of dealing with this issue. One strategy is the Camino South African Passport. It gives them access to the route, maps, discounts and value adds from the service providers. It is also a way for the service providers to know who is on the route, because each passport holder is registered on the system. There are major financial implications for the agricultural and associated sectors on the Bachrafir Camino, as travelers leave their rands, dollars and pounds with those providing accommodation, food, coffee, guiding, transport, portage, and the wide variety of packages that are possible. We invite anyone in and connected to the agricultural sector along the route to contact us, to offer your participation and your commitment, which is essential, to this agri-tourism project. The community owns the Camino, and with this ownership, it will thrive and grow, bringing peace, unity, and sustainability to all South Africans.